I was staying up so late last night to uh, to think of some good questions to ask you. Good word. Ask <laughs> yeah. But then um, yeah, I'm I'm. Uh, what happened to your video, by the way? I cut it, and I was doing my bookshelves. Oh, yeah. Bookshelves. <laughs> yeah. When did you uh, When did you come back from Venice? Uh, was, what it was? Like uh, two months ago. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, ago. two months ago. We worked. Uh, we worked. Uh, and, uh, yeah, on May uh, for for ten days. If we were in Venice. Yeah. Since you, you said seven days on the presentation yesterday? Yeah, and the shooting technically is uh, seven days of work. Yeah. Of course, then there was some ra day was raining, yeah. so we didn't work. So I, I spent 12 days in Venice and seven days was for shooting. Yeah. Like two days for scouting, uh, and then uh, the rain days, uh, and then, uh, you know, sometimes uh, yeah. the gondolier couldn't work. Uh, you said it was a short time, yeah, it's, it's okay. A short time, but in, in my view, it's, it's quite long. <laughs> to, bring, bring to be for there. The or, yeah, I don't know, is it. Uh, for the picture, the vice seven, how much? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we have to produce three good pictures to publish yeah. per day. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's I a lot. Publish picture, yeah. not the good uh, just yeah. like you Of course, to, yeah, after, yeah. Yeah, basically, you need 10 good pictures a day yeah. to be taken. And then you have to take it because only three of those can go in the magazine. So. Did you feel like there's a lot of pressure? It is. Yeah. It is. So how did you uh, manage to find the inspiration to do so? Uh, the inspiration, well, it's, it's a challenging. It's a, it's a photograph in Venice is really challenging mm -hmm. because it's a cliche. It's a, everybody is working. Think about how many tourists every day yes, goes to yes. Paris. Yes. And uh, all our photographer and these people go to Paris, tourists, uh, and uh, the zillions of images of banks from take from a lot of people. Uh, so that's uh, and the place is small and it's bad. There's uh, everywhere you move around. There is always a to share. Yeah. But one thing I really liked about your photos from Venice is that you're taking it from a really, really low angle and the wide angle, but for a very interesting perspective. Like, some of the, the shots, it looks like you're standing in the water looking up yeah, from the, yeah, the yeah. boat. Yes, it was like that. <laughs> no, it was true. <laughs> yeah, it was like that. Wait, yeah. so, so uh, talking about cliche photos, so I guess within photography, like, what are some, like, cliche photos you notice a lot of people taking that you think that's not always so good? I don't believe, I personally don't believe there is a good or bad photography. Yeah? I think uh, I think any photos has a reason to exist. It's just a matter of where you lo collocate that, you know, uh, and where, uh, what the usage you do for the picture, you know. So it's not about, uh, uh, it's not about, it's, Every picture has a reason to exist. The, the, the most important, where you put the picture, in which reason. Mm -hmm. You understand? Okay. Uh, and that's it. So the same as uh, applying to professionals and to amateur, whatever. And uh, for every everybody, it's like a, there's no wrong yeah. picture in the world. Uh, of course, if I go to Venice to work for Laika and I come back with a picture of the water, uh, like a Tsugimoto, uh, I'm, I'm, I have something problem with me, uh, you understand, because uh, they ask for something. So it's, it's all about, about the content and the, the, where you put the, the picture, where you frame it. So um, uh, one, one thing that's interesting is that, what, or my question is, what, what camera are you shooting with right now, except the Leica M9P? What was your camera before that? Okay, until 2001, yes. I was using Leica, yes. and then when uh, film Leica, film like, mm -hmm. and when the camera digital, uh, Leica was not there, and uh, I started to use Olympus, mm -hmm. and then and now I use again Leica with uh, yeah. with m Because one, uh, one thing I was uh, really interesting, and I, I saw this a while ago, was how you used your Olympus pony shoots when you're doing your documentary photography. Yeah, I used to, I used that for oh. all, you, from, from 2002 up to last year I used Olympus. Could you explain uh, your reasoning why you use such a small digital, like almost a consumer camera? 
is well, is a consumer camera, but uh, the, the file is much better than the Canon and Mac. Huh? From my point of view. And then, um, did you notice that people reacted differently because you use a smaller camera? Of course, of course. What was the what was the notice? Uh, the difference you noticed? The difference, the people, the people are scared with the big cameras. There is a, an, a, an, a common uh, fear about uh, privacy, which yeah. is. Uh, yeah. People get confused, and big cameras never worked for with people, even oh. with the, in the early days. It doesn't work. The camera is aggressive. How about uh, shooting with a Leica? Is that a little bit more? People Fantastic. are less. Oh yeah, they don't bother you. Yeah, yeah, it's different. Mm. They don't ask what you're going to do with it. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's, uh, it's, an, it's, it's a pleasure camera. And it looks like an old film camera, so. People don't really react that negatively to it, right? Yeah, it's like having an Angelina Jolie here. They, if she start to ask questions, you don't ask why. It's like uh, it's like uh, you just take the question. <laughs> if you have uh, someone else, uh, you might say, "Why you make this question?" You know? uh -huh, yeah. So the like yeah. is the same thing. So uh, could you compare it to phone photography nowadays? So people take pictures with their iPhones, etc. No problem. Why not? Yeah. You know, the, you is can it do comparable? it. <laughs> not. You can compare? Yeah. No, you can't. Okay. No, because uh, sometimes uh, if you are in a job, you can go with an iPhone, take a picture of someone uh, as a white, they are professional. So that's not possible since, yeah. Well, it's, it's not possible. You, you, you can do it, but uh, the, the point is like uh, uh, you have to ask the person, the people as a, using an iPhone, if they have a Leica, they use a Leica or an iPhone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is like, it? It's like, okay, you want to take a picture, this is a lack, this is an iPhone, yes. which one you take? Yeah. Yeah. Of That's the point. <laughs> yeah. It's about, uh, it's, uh, it's not the, the yeah. one versus the other. Oh. So it's like different situations for different cameras. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure 80% right, yeah. of the people will say, I'll give me a, ca a Leica, I will yeah. take it for yeah, of course. Yeah. And I download it in, the, in, the, in my blog and my phone. Oh, blog. very nice. Yeah. No, so I was doing some research on you, Alex, and you, one of your quotes was, on the Magnum side was, uh, I really don't have any idea about photography, but I take photos. Like, when you're just kind of outside, or you're on an assignment, or any time, what, when you see something, what motivates you to capture something? Like, what goes through your mind when, you know, you see, like, a little boys in the street acting in certain ways or like what what goes to your mind why did you take these photos it's about uh, awareness and, uh, and it's about awareness and, uh, and uh, the, the fact you put yourself in a situation is already a reason so it, yes. it's, it's nothing more why I take a picture I'm already there mm -hmm. and I put myself in that situation so at least I have to take a picture otherwise there is no reason to be there in that moment you understand what I mean? Yeah, so kind of like uh, the context... The, 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 the things started when you take a flight and the reason you go, there where it starts. Then when you're there, you have to do the best work you, you, you can. Or Otherwise, yeah. you don't even take a flight. Please. So maybe even on a more basic question, um, why do you take photos? Yeah. Like, why? It's because uh, as uh, Caetano Veloso, singer, Brazilian singer, saying, it's like, uh, I have to. You know, it's not something you want, you have to. Like, why do, why do you have to? Because there is no choice for me. It's a reason well, yeah. So, yeah. what would happen if you didn't take photos? I don't know, I started taking pictures when I was 12. It's, too, I can't, I, it's a question I can't answer. It's like a second nature almost? A second? It's like, um, it's part of you, it's your instinct. I think so. Yeah. It's too late to answer this question. I'm 40, I started when I was 12. You're 40? Yeah, I'm 40. Oh, oh I thought you were like... Yeah. 30. 30? Thank you. <laughs> 40. Oh, no, that's... So basically, yeah, oh. it's uh, more than 25 years I'm taking pictures. So most of my... Uh, so just take away the when you are kids and play with toys. Yeah. That's what I did on my life. And now, are you a slow photographer or just uh, shoot shoots for the... What? I I think you're fast. Really slow. Yeah? Well, shoot, what do you mean you should shoot? You shoot a lot of picture? Yeah, yeah, that's a question. No, I don't shoot a lot of picture, but I'm fast and moving. Oh, yeah, okay, I yeah. see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, so um, I know you probably get asked this question a lot, but a lot of, out of a lot of your, your photography, what is one image 
that maybe is not so famous that is really special to you? Of my picture? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. maybe not as well known, but has some personal uh, significance to you. I don't know. I think the picture I took from my kid, of my kids, obviously, that yeah. are not really public. How, uh, how many children do you have? Two. Oh, how, how old? One nine and one uh, two and a half. Oh. Do you take a lot of photos of them as well? Yeah. <laughs> Good photo. Oh, no. <laughs> the best one. <laughs> so those are probably your most important photos now. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. oh. No, I was doing some research about you too. Is you like to sing samba and? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, I like music. Well, the, the soundtrack of the thing, I, I did it. Oh, you did it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Really? Yesterday, both. Yeah. How did you? How did you do it? My house uh, with the piano, with the computer, with everything. Oh, so are you really interested in music as well? A lot, yes, a lot mm. of music. How do you think um, your interest in music and photography, you know, influence? Yeah, influence each other. Uh, I, I think so. I think they do. How so? Because uh, they don't need words, like uh, philosophy and, and it's, it's something. Uh, photography, Im images, not only photography, images and uh, music, I think, are two things that they, 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 go, they work in the brain of the human being in a way that even when, you don't have to study photography to be affected by images, and you don't have to study music to be affected by a song. It's just, uh, it's there, it's coming, and then uh, attach your sens sensitivity or your experience with that in a way that. Uh, uh, sorry, it's Chris Sanders. Oh. Hey, Chris. Sorry, looking for. Oh, um, dear. it's like a, yeah, it's, it's a touch, is a touching. I mean, let's say to read a book, you need to read and write, you know. But you don't have to. If you listen, think about an alphabet, someone that doesn't know how to read and write, and then listen to music, it, it gives something to him anyway. And I think in photography the same. Yeah. Images in, in a way. So there are, yeah, there is a lot of mechanics in the way between your ideas and music or picture. Yes. Does that? Uh, is it? Well, yeah. I'm talking about not the people. I'm talking about the people receiving the yeah. images. Oh, or oh receiving yeah, I music see. Yeah, not yeah. doing it. Oh, and of mm. course, you need. Uh, yeah, even a uh, Mozart need to know write music. Mm -hmm. Okay, but yeah. talk about the receiving. The, the, yeah. the, the question. The, it's about the people looking or listening to music. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to learn something. You just get get it. How, how did you start out? You, you start taking pictures at 12? But yes. How did it go? Did you? For me, it was. I, I started looking at pictures and I was amazed and I wanted to do this and, and express myself the same way. But yeah, was it? Did you start looking at pictures? No, just, I was. Uh, I was. Um, Lacking the the gimmick of uh, photography, the effect you the light, uh, oh, the yeah. film, and the developing things. Oh, so yeah. like a, so instead of play with the constructions or whatever you yeah. like it, you play yeah. with the camera. I'm a fan of the camera, so mm -hmm. I like to play with that. And the concept that from this metal and glass yeah. thing came out an image. It was really interesting. Have you been uh, teaching your children photography as well? No, no, not for now, but, uh, but not for now, but my daughter, we did an exhibit together with my daughter. Oh, that's oh, wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's um, great. Yeah. And well, what photos did she have? She, we went uh, to Disneyland and we worked for Disneyland uh, and, they, and we worked for three days in Disneyland. She photographed Disneyland uh, and uh, we did an exhibit for them. Oh, that's, that's, really, that's really great. Wait, so um, uh, kind of going back, you said that your father love photography, then yeah. you love photography, yeah. and then it seems like your children have interest in photography. And this is one question I always wonder, how much of photography do you think is something that you're born with? And how much of photography do you think is something that you could learn, develop, and train yourself? Good question. Oh, as all the good questions, I don't know the answer. I have no idea. Did, did you train yourself or uh, did you educate? Uh, did, did you took uh, courses in I educate myself. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Totally. And what, what did you study or...? Uh... I look books. Books uh, and I work a lot and I work in the studio every day. Yeah. You know, you do the daily things. You yeah. know? It's like go do a gym, you know? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, basically every day you do the same thing and then mm. happen to 
that you know something, yeah. So, I mean, of course, it's a very difficult question to answer, but do you think it's maybe one or the other, more nature or more something you learn? If you could just... I, th I think it's something you learn. Something you learn? Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, um, like... Oh, yeah. yeah, so, like... Um, so, because um, I, I know a lot of people, too, they're, they're born not very naturally artistic, but they, you know, work really, really hard to get something. Like, for example, in math, my... My friend, she's not naturally good at math, but she studied hours and hours and hours, and then she ended up doing really well, whereas other people... She's not just, doing really well. No, she is doing really well, ah, okay. she studies so hard. So, you see. Yes. <laughs> so, like, um, so what would be kind of, like, some advice you would have for photographers? Maybe they don't have natural vision for seeing the world, but they really love photography and want to capture the world in a more special way. How would you, like, what, are, what is some advice you would give them? I think I don't think personally there is people have more vision than others. I think you train yourself or you have you have, you have to work on many levels of your yourself to. I mean, it's not like a, if you want to take a picture and looks like the picture of someone else because you like the picture, you you make it something wrong. You have yeah. to wake up and give a reason why you take a picture and then work hard to 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 express what you what you think. You understand. So you say there's no such thing as a good or bad photo? Yeah. Mm. I really I really like that concept. It's very open and very democratic. No, there is I say I repeat, there is there is no such difference but the most important where you how you frame the picture. Mm -hmm. yeah. There is no reason there is one picture any picture is good according to the reason you take a picture and why and where you put the picture etc. You understand? So thinking about the context um, this is something that I often wonder in. The context or the context? Or, um, not, uh, not the content, the context is that, mm -hmm. you know, as a photographer, you see something and you capture a photo because you have some kind of idea what you want to express yourself. But yeah, sometimes it happens. Yes. Uh, it doesn't, it's not always yeah. like uh, mm -hmm. uh, you always uh, yeah. uh, create. Mm -hmm. The manufacture of pictures is not always mm -hmm. uh, a calibration of men. It's always something happens sometimes. Yeah. And then sometimes people look at your photos and they might think of something different than what you originally thought. Happened many times. Do you, do you, what do you think about that? How do you feel about I, that? That's the beauty. Oh, yeah. But it's because all the picture, as I told you before, reach sense on your brain that are related with your memory, your experiences, uh, your, 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 the, the, the moment that you see that picture, you know, the same picture with the same caption, uh, read by a French person or from an American person, from a, a Japanese per, uh, an Asian person, it would be a completely different meaning because it is a different uh, perception. Do, do you see new things in your own pictures after some time if you look through them? I don't know, if I'm drunk. I don't know, yeah. Maybe, don't know. We, maybe we should get you some bourbon or something. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so um, within, uh, I guess, more of your your personal photography, uh, how do you feel about titles? Do you, like to, do you like to title your images or you don't like to title your images? Single images. Yes. Uh, I, I title single images for myself to recognize uh, and to, for my system to, to yeah. understand what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So sometimes the title, keep the picture keep the title for a long time. So do you feel like your titles can often convey a different message? No, the title is really personal. Thing. It's like sometimes to recognize a picture with a, because each picture has the code, but I have like three for a system. So like uh, sometimes to understand which picture we're talking about and say a title for that picture. You know? mm -hmm. <laughs> so what uh, what project are you currently working on? Brazil. Mm -hmm. Brazil, yeah. What are, what are you doing in Brazil? I'm taking pictures since, um, since a long time, and then uh, uh, it's about it's a pro I don't know it's gonna come out next year probably in this book. And then what about the what about Brazil? The people of Brazil? Everything, everything. Yeah. Landscape, people, uh, events, uh, everything. Okay, so I have a question. So more of a personal question is: yeah. um, being a photographer, you're always traveling all around the world, yeah. like. Um, is it is it difficult to be uh, a parent sometimes? Yes, it is, yeah, of course. So like, uh, how so? I think you are not there, so yeah. it's difficult. You miss uh, your family. How often do you see your, uh, get to see your family? Well, it depends. Lately, I was lucky that I work a lot in Italy, so I could, I could stay with them. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. but uh, sometimes uh, 
a month, uh, from 20 days to a month, let's say. Wow. Okay. You said something about uh, avoiding cliches uh, yeah. in the beginning of the interview. Venice, yeah. Yeah. How do you do that? <laughs> How it, do you it's difficult, it's impossible yeah. actually. Yeah. Because even even if you try, there is always cliches in, yeah. uh, in, the, in, our, in our photography, in the, yeah. all of us, you know. Because we, of course, we are influenced by things we see. Yeah, yeah. It's in, um, an, an inevitable. So you can't, I mean, yeah. in a way. But it's, it's not necessarily bad. You can, no, no. Oh. you can, add to the cliché something personal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of yeah. course. Wait. So, um, I, this is a question. So, you're doing with the edit also. Okay. Yeah. So, you understand? Uh -huh. so how do you think that? Maybe within the next 20 years, how do you think photography is going to change and uh, evolve? Wait, wait, how many years? <laughs> <laughs> let's say the future. Maybe uh, I'm just throwing a random number, like let's say 20 years. Like, cause, you know, nowadays, oh, you know, how is it going to change what? Um, I guess the how photographers, you know, work and also convey the image. Because nowadays, you know, there's even like you know 3D cameras coming out. Um, there's talk about like you know. What if you could just have a really high speed video? I think we should, all of everybody, we should relax. <laughs> <laughs> and then let the things go in as, as they're going without yeah. to break our heads so much. Yeah. Yeah. You feel like um, there is enough, enough, yeah, that you can make enough difference between yeah, the family follower just taking some pictures. And so, so, say again? Yeah, it's, yeah, everyone can buy good cameras these yeah. days so yeah. do you feel like um, a photographer yeah everyone is a photographer and, and does that bother you or uh, no why no? not I don't know no why why should yeah because yeah uh, it, it takes photography a bit long yeah it's not competition but, but it's it but lowers it it's, not, it's just a matter of uh, uh, context also yeah. because think about think about Americans they they grew up with cameras in yeah. their families, and if you go yeah. through their uh, family's album, mm -hmm. it's, it's you see crap. really good, <laughs> yeah. good pictures and oh, good yeah. photography. Uh, so it's sometimes really about uh, why they don't all they are all photographers. Yeah, yeah they are. Yeah. So it's just a matter of how you look, uh, hold yourself. Yeah. Uh, what you, when you wake up in the morning? What do you think about yourself? Uh, is all yeah, this kind of component yeah. creates uh, photography? Uh, photographers in terms of in the way we talk about and perceive photography. But yeah. but uh, uh, but all of us are photographers. Yeah. Technically. And that's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. These guys are photographers. Yeah. 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 So Alex, do you ever have a moment that you know you go to sleep and then you wake up? And you have to take photos, but you don't feel like taking photos. Well, many times. So how do you? How do you? <laughs> <laughs> it's a job. It's, yes, yes. It's so, a photography, is a, photography is a job, you know. And then how do you? Uh, I over think a dentist every day will be like to put his hand <laughs> in, in, in the mouth. Oh, that's that's, a, that's interesting. <laughs> but then how do you? Um, you know, what are some ways you find yourself to inspire to take photos when you don't feel like taking photos? It's a job. You have to do it. It's a, you go, you know, with. You go in the morning, wake up, you have to make some money, you have to work, yeah, it's, you have a job. Yeah. Beautiful, more beautiful, less beautiful, well, you have a job. Do you continue taking pictures when you're on holidays? You take a picture when? Uh, when you're just uh, on holidays, on, on vacation, uh, do to you my stop taking To my family, <laughs> yeah. like any other fathers that would do in the world. Yeah. 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 And is the style different? Can you, or, yeah. I don't know. It's, yeah, I yeah think it's, it's you. Yeah, <laughs> it's always you. It's just, uh, I yeah. don't, I don't know. I don't, it's, it's a snap spot. Yeah. Okay. Wait, so, um, you know, uh, being part of Magnum, you know, it's such a, one of the largest uh, photo agencies in the world, but then, you know, nowadays, you know, it's the largest, a, prestigious, <laughs> largest now, <nowadays. Yeah. laughs> yeah. yeah. or, or, or I was, when I say largest, I mean, <laughs> Probably <laughs> easily. It's I would really say small. I would say the most. I would say the most prestigious. Um, uh, but then you know nowadays with uh, digital, it's 
it's, you know, it's so, it's so difficult to be a photographer nowadays because nowadays with AP, like all these organizations that AP, pay the photographers very little to take the images. Um, do you think that, uh, you know, there really is a, a like, what do you, how do you feel the future is for, like, photojournalists? I, I don't know. And, uh, and I don't care. <laughs> no, I care because it's my job. But yeah. I think also yeah. you have to accept uh, anything is going to happen uh, to our life. Yeah. It's going to be difficult for, for my generation to keep going. Uh, but at a certain point, you can't do all the life. I mean, there are things maybe my... I don't say it's my photo journey is going to end, eh? I just say my hand. So yeah. you have to look for our job. Do you think uh, social media and, and internet is important for you? It is you? important. I don't think it's, uh, it's going to take uh, the place of photo journalists, no. No, but does it help you, for example? Do you do it? Do you publish no. some pictures on Twitter? Or... Not me, no? not me. No, no but, uh, not at all. I see yeah. my, my wife, uh, she does a lot. And <laughs> it's funny. It's like, is it because you, know. it you don't have en uh, enough time or you're not no, interested? No, it's like um, I'm really... No, it's not about that. It's just... Uh, you have to be involved. And yeah, not yet it, involved. It can be personal marketing for you, but I don't know. It is, I think. Yeah. It is, it is. It might be one day. I don't know. If you ask me today, no, but tomorrow okay. I will change. Well, it. you have an yeah. iPhone, right? Yeah, yeah. but uh, I don't know how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a I mean, uh, I'm not, I use it as a phone. As a phone you know? They okay. give me for free oh, with the phone. Wait, so let's say uh, one day you were no longer a photographer. What, what, what other interests would you pursue? What do you mean? So let's say one day, um, you know, for one reason or another, you can no longer be a photographer. If you could have any other career path or some other interest you would like to pursue, what would it chef, be? Chef, chef, cooking. Really? Yeah. Yeah? Why? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> no, it's not interesting. It's just a cooking. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of cooking do you love? Well, any, pasta. <laughs> 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 no, anything. Yeah. Oh. What's, what's your favorite dish to cook? I don't know. And I mean, I do anything. Cook a lot for your family? Yeah, all the time. All the time. Oh. <laughs> Who cooks more, you or your wife? Me, me, me. me. Are there parallels with photography? Huh? Are there... Can you compare it to photography, in a way? Uh, well, I can compare everything to everything. <laughs> yeah. so, it's, it's not really. Yeah. It's very really simple. Yeah. I could it's answer three ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which, one, which answer you want? Nah, sure. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you, do you have any other questions? No. no? All right, thank you so thank, much. Thank uh, you very much. Huge pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. All right. What do you